Hello friends, my name is Sanjib Chanda, and I am a trainer of this CCNA series. Today I will discuss, what is Hub, and how does it work. This is a Hub network. Here, you can see, four computers are connected with a single Hub. Hub is a dumb device. It cannot make forwarding decision based on MAC address or IP address. Hub works like a repeater, that's why we can say, Hub is a multiport repeater. Hub works on physical layer, of OSI model. When Hub receives a signal, to its one port, it just amplifies and forwards the signal to all other ports. It works on bits, 0 and 1. For making connection, Hub has a multiple Ethernet port, and all computers are connected, with this port, by using a twisted pair cable, and RJ45 connector. Twisted pair cable. RJ45 connector. This is a twisted pair cable, and both ends of this cable are attached with RJ45 connector. Now, computer A wants to send a data packet to computer B. When computer A, send this packet to computer B, Hub receives this packet to its one port, and forward it to all other ports, so all computers will receive this packet. Hub can't make forwarding decision based on MAC address or IP address, that's why when all computers receive this packet, they simply check whether this packet is for them or not, if this packet is not for them, they will discard it, except correct recipient, like computer B. All ports of a hub, belongs to one big collision and broadcast domain, and it works on sharing bandwidth. Later on, I will discuss, what is collision and broadcast domain. You should know that too many collision and broadcast domain, decreases the efficiency of network.
in the hub network environment, only one computer can communicate once to another computer at a time, if two computers want to send a file at the same time, they can collide with each other, because hub uses half duplex transmission, that's why, data in just one direction at a time. After collision occurred, Hub follows the protocol, named CSMACD, carrier sense multiple access, with collision detection. It is created by IEEE, standard 802.3. CSMA can check whether their media is clear, or not, and, CD can detect, if there is any collision occurred. When collision occurred, all data packets are transmitted again, after limited interval of timing. CSMACD, always check, whether the transmission media is clear, or not. If the media is clear, only one computer, can send a data packet one at a time. Now computer A and computer B, can communicate with each other, because media is free. Thanks for watching.